How is she handling prison? Martha Stewart like? Uh, I don't think. No, we're not doing the orange, and we are doing a wonderful gunmetal iron prisoner <laughs> jumpsuit. Um, but she's she's pretty much by herself. I mean, she was devastated by the end of, of last season, and this season she starts very isolated. Prison being the symbolic, you know, moment of all of it. Her daughter uh, is resisting seeing her. Her son is dealing with the ramifications of his best friend's death, and uh, she's pretty much alone. So that's where we start with her. How much of that is she actually aware of? Like, is she aware that mm-hmm. Oliver has returned to the island? Is she yes, aware? Yes, they've been in contact. I mean, the, she, you know, I, I, we were chatting about this, and I think she probably actually was able to go to Tommy's funeral. But this is all backstory, you know, yeah. that type of thing. So I think she knew that he had left. But where he had gone, she, I don't think she realized where he had gone. And she was aware that Theo was upset with her all that time? Oh, yes. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And clearly not coming to visit her. Yeah, well. So that that says a thing. She wasn't the only one that was part of the organization. Do are any of the other people that were in the group with her suffering any ramifications? Uh, You know, aside from what we saw at the end of last season, those huge ramifications, um, uh, not so far written. Um, I... I'm assuming that those stories are parallel if they survived the undertaking, um, that they're living lives very similar to Moira's. So. Do you think we're seeing a different Moira in season two? I think so, and I think it started, I think it started with, with she and Oliver towards the end and her really sort of mustering up her own soul again. I think she lost it so much with Malcolm, and I think Oliver really helped her uncover it again, and um, I'm hoping that, I mean, the the writers had chatted about redemption in this season, and we'll see where that road to redemption leads, and I think the end of last season was the beginning of that road. Um, But I will say that um, they've always been very excited to surprise audiences with Moira. There's something very mysterious about her, even to me. And, um, and so I walk down a path with her, and then they, they, take, you know, they take a right turn, and I had no idea we were going that way. So. One more question? Is everyone was, good? Oh, oh, sure. so Stephen was saying earlier that he's getting to play more scenes with you where they're really talking. Mm-hmm. He's just there's being a, himself. Can there's a level of honesty mm-hmm. that they've gotten back to, absolutely. And that's, that's really lovely as two actors working on these characters. Um, in many, many ways, Moira and, and Oliver live parallel lives. I think a lot of the, the characters in, in this show live parallel lives. But there's a lot of secrets that they both share. And, uh, and I th- think they can kind of sense when something is untrue with the other. Something's not quite right with the other. Their radar for each other is, is quite extraordinary. So. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.